right around that same time, you started dating Jenna Jameson. Yep. Uh, former adult film star. Yep. Uh, you guys ended up having twins. Correct. Uh, and then a situation happened, I guess in 2010, where uh, you were arrested for felony uh, domestic violence. Yes, that I ended up going to court and all of it was dropped because it was a complete lie. And she said uh, in public that it, she was wrong and she was wrong to say that she that what happened did not happen, which it didn't happen. And uh, in 2011, um, actually 2012, I ended up uh, getting a restraining order and getting full custody of my children. And I've been uh, a father since, and she hasn't been around in six and a half years. And having full custody of my kids, uh, she just walked away. And it's sad, but you know, at the same time, uh, she's 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 a a victim of her own self. And I try to help somebody I couldn't help. And it took me a lot of uh, physical therapy, or excuse me, rehab to to really get through those things uh, with a therapist. And it's uh, the things you got to do as a parent. You know, you got to stand your ground. And I had to do what my mom did uh, for me as a kid. You know, I had to stand my ground and I had to take care of my kid's future. And that's what I did. And it, it was tough, but uh, it just made me have a little more thicker skin, it made me a little better man, and uh, a great father for my kids. My kids are amazing right now. Um, their mother hasn't been around in over six and a half years. Um, I've been dating Amber Nicole Miller, who's my girlfriend, who I've been with for six and a half years, who's an amazing mother to those kids, who treats them like her own. And um, I'm very, very thankful. My kids are A's and B students. Uh, they're healthy, smart, articulate, very well-mannered, respectful kids. Um, and you know, they don't have cell phones, they don't have iPads. Um, these kids are hardworking kids that, I keep it old school with them, man. And it's, it's really, really important as being a, a present parent, um, a loving parent, as uh, my father never was, you know. My mom always was. My mom uh, showed me the right way to, to be raised and I'm very thankful for that because I'm doing it for my kids right now. You never hear of fathers getting full custody of their kids. Like, for example, I just interviewed Matt Barnes and he went through this crazy story with me and this, all these crazy altercations and it cost him a million dollars in legal fees, but he actually had full custody. He ended up getting full custody of his twin boys uh, as well as, you know, similar to yourself. And we ended up doing a um, week on, week off now, so that's where we currently are. And, and currently, you know, I wouldn't say we're cool, but there hasn't been any drama. You know, like I said, it's just exchanges and, and, and things are, Finally smooth, I would say, for the first time in like five years. But you still have sole custody? I still have custody. It's just the visitation is 50-50. Mm. It only cost me a half a million, but let me tell you, if it was 10 million, I still would have paid the same thing because I love my kids that much. If it cost me my life, I would pay my life for it. I love my kids that much. What makes a mother walk away from her children? You just don't see that very often. I couldn't tell you. And I, that, that, that's a question I've always uh, would love the answer, but uh, she has to live in her own shoes and I know the truth. Uh, the things that were happening to my kids at the time were just mind blowing. Um, I'm just thankful now that they were young enough to not understand what was going on, going on in the house, what was going on around with them. Um, my, my kids, like I say, they're, they're young men. They're very intelligent kids, respectful kids. and. Uh, for a mother to do what she does, they don't remember her. They, they, uh, she left when they were three and a half. They don't remember who she who she was. They know who she is. I mean, they, they do not know that she's Jenna Jameson, but they know who who mom was. That she said she was going to come back one day. But I mean, they kind of forget about it now. I mean, it's been a while, and I, I don't bring it to their attention unless they ask about it. And they ask about it, and I say, you know, your mom was sick, and uh, maybe someday she may come back. But this hasn't been in God four or five years that hasn't even came about at all. And um, Amber, my girlfriend now, is you know, she she's she's my my soul, my soulmate, man. She's she's my woman who I who has my back, who's is there one hundred percent, and we're always on the same page of uh, raising these kids the right way. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at Jenna Jameson's IG page now, and apparently she has another child. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I guess I'm just I'm just perplexed as to I mean. Clearly, she likes children, but she has, and she, it says mother of three in, in her uh, kind of uh, description, but you're telling me she hasn't even seen her kids in six years. Her I mean, it's, she just lives in a different world. She lives in a, a fairy tale land, and, uh, you know, I, 
I don't know. I, I I can't talk bad about the woman because you know she is the woman. My one well, my kids and uh, part of the mother of my children. And I leave it at that, man. I, I left it in her hands. She got to do what the courts uh, ordered her to do, and she would never do it. So you know, I'm just trying to be a great dad with my kids and and show them uh, how to be men. You know, I'm, I'm I'm raising men. I'm not raising boys. I'm not raising little kids. I'm raising men, and that's my job. When they're 18 and they can go on their own and uh, they can provide for themselves in a respectful manner and uh, give back society um, how I want them to do. Um, it's really, really important for me. You know, a mirror of myself is my children. And uh, the respect values that I hold to my, that I've learned my, on my own, I, I, I teach them. And uh, like I say, man, whenever they walk into a room, a group of people, they walk right up to people and shake their hand and say, hi, I'm Journey, nice to meet you. I'm Jesse, nice to meet you. They're very outgoing, very well-spoken. Um, and like I say, it just shows what type of father that I am and what type of uh, stepmother uh, Amber is to them.